Let's go. Let's play... Let's play the Ironclad. I don't, I don't really want to play Ascension mode right now. Let's just go for a nice default uh, Ironclad run. No. Uh, no. Sure, fine, and uh, remove a card. Next time we would for sure find a shop is here. Problem is, I don't want to fight the boss, so I would plan going here and around, and then probably either here or up here. With that in mind, 100 gold is basically not that relevant. So let's just remove a card from our deck and remove a strike. The reason I'm removing a strike now uh, is because there are so many better offensive cards, but not so many better defensive cards. All right, we're going to do... Yeah, I want to double block this. Taking two is okay. Taking uh, seven, less so. Because I want to try and maintain that six health budget if I can. All right. He's not really making it easy for me to do that, but that's okay. Okay, so we want to bash him and then defend. Now, we're at the end of the budget I have for health. For good or for ill, now he's more likely to hit us. Okay, gonna go for... I can either deal six three times, which is not lethal, or just hit him a couple of times like that. Now, we are more than likely gonna take damage in this fight. Not my favorite, but oh well. Yeah, we're gonna take damage. I can either take two by doing this, or I could bash him and deal him, what, 10, 12 damage? 12 damage ensures he dies next turn, but I take 12. I don't like that. Alright. Let's just do this. <laughs> Yo! Unfortunately, he didn't do as many debuff moves, which is what I expected to see. So, we're gonna block him out entirely and hit him once. I expected him to do several debuff moves in a row, which uh, would have helped me out a great deal. So... We do not have enough to kill him, so block, block this. We're not doing incredibly well on our first fight, but at least we only took four current damage. So now we just kill him. All right. Shrug it off. Oh, or do we start the entrench run now? Shrug it off is always useful. Entrench is only useful with specifically barricade. But Barricade without Rupture is useless, whereas Barricade with Rupture... Oh, what am I talking about? Barricade with uh, Entrench is fantastic. Barricade without Entrench is useless. So I can either hold on to Entrench and start up a run where I just pray to get that card, or I give up on it and I choose not to pick it up. Alright, let's go crazy. I want it. I want to finally get my barricade runs going. Because usually barricade's just impossible to do. Because you need entrench, you need barricade, you need, like, cards. Okay. Um, I'll prevent the damage. Because if I get into a real pickle, like I really can't deal this last 13 or I can't block him out, I can always explode him. Uh, actually, I like this a lot. Bam. <coughs> We're all healed up. Alright, Sword Boomerang is cool, but I don't really need it. Evolve is cool, but I don't think I really need it. Yeah, let's pick up Evolve. I like Evolve. Alright. Oh, transform a card. Transform a strike. Headbutt. Yep. As I said, there are many better... Uh, offensive moves. That's why I'm trying to get rid of them. Ah, yes. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries. No do-overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Bludgeon. And bludgeon. Decay. And decay. Infernal blade. Armaments. Flash of steel. Bash. Bash. Sure. Wow, that 
I got three cards, which is the most I've ever gotten. I also, amazingly, managed to get a curse from two in a row. I mean, okay. Ah, uh, I really, like, I can take six to apply vulnerable to him, but I kind of just wanted to bludgeon him. Because it's just so satisfying. Alright, well, headbutt for bludgeon. And we can set up some block and do this. That essentially did nothing, so it's alright. But if for some godforsaken reason we didn't end the game this turn, then I would have uh, had Evolve going. Let's see, I don't like this. None of these are good. Uh, let's take the Wild Strike. So the Wild Strike goes with Evolve quite nicely. Alright, let's smith up a card. Smith up either Bludgeon, which I love. Smith up Evolve to make it uh, a better card in longer fights. Entrench makes it a playable card. Yeah, because it is not. Or, no, we're not going to Smith up Entrench until we have something to back it up. Bludgeon, I just, I gotta. It just sometimes just ends a fight. So let's see what's happening here. We got a buff and a something else. So we're going to go after the dude in the back. There we go. Now, he gets bigger, yes. But I took after him because I don't want to get, like, weakened. And also, this makes me vulnerable, which I don't like. So, yeah. We're, well, okay, we'll just ha happily take this guy out real quick. That's why I love bludgeon. It's just sometimes you just go, bam, and they're gone. <coughs> Very satisfying. All right, let's see. Uh, wild Strike and one of these. Nice. Flex Blood. Oh, Blood for Blood, though. All right. I, I'm picking up a lot of cards at the same time. I just love Blood for Blood. I love this potion. Get off of my screen. There we go. Perfect. You gotta love it. All right. Uh, brutality. I'm setting up the blood for blood combo. Gambling chip. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So you're both buffing. So I don't need this. I want that. And I don't need these. Oh, I can't have this now. So. Ah, mistakes. This does 20. Yeah, this does enough. These two cards. Or I can... Oh, well. Fine, I'll take the two damage. It's annoying, but I'll take it. I just wanted to bludgeon one into the next world and then just go, haha. -ha! Alright, let's see. So. Block. To prevent some damage. There's no need to brutality right now, so we'll just bash him. Okay, so we take a little bit of damage. Oh well, we'll heal up a quite a bit. And then we do that. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Alright, uh, shrug it off. Yeah, just shrug it off's a good card. All right, definitely this way. Smith up. What do we want to smith up? I could do blood for blood, brutality, uh, or entrench, or... Oh, evolve. Definitely evolve. Because in the future... That card will be real good. And we want to go and get this curse out of our deck. Ooh. I can either remove the curse, transform, or upgrade. I think I'd rather just remove the curse. Perfect. Now we go to the shop and we don't have to spend money. A bludgeon. Yeah, d junk and bludgeon. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh... Hate to see you go, but love to watch you walk away. Alright, you're all attacking me. All of you, though? Alright, we don't need bludgeon. That can stay. Uh, don't need those two. Nice. Yes? Okay. I don't need that this time. You're dealing the most, so you just disappear. Okay, we'll set up the... No need to set up Evolve. We're, we'll just... 
This prepares you for death. This leaves you at one. So we're going to prepare you for death. And I can choose to take one damage here, but I don't think I will. I'll just wait. Okay. So we are taking some damage. Not ideal. But at the same time, we have the capacity now to go headbutt and put Wild Strike back on the top of our deck. Strike and get you the dead. And we only take one for that. There might have been a way for me to do that where I took no damage, but oh well. And Wild Strike him. Okay. So... I don't like any of these, so we're just going to pass on them all. And here, here we smith up. What do we want to smith up? The second bludgeon? I kind of do, though. But I kind of do, though. All right, brutality. It makes our opening hand bad sometimes. But too many times, like in this fight, it'll make it obscenely good. Those are all terrible cards to have. Gambling chip, you are so good. There we are. So, now the fight really begins. Because we're going to get... Woo! Yeah, spiky. Alright, set up this. Block once. Headbutt. And for headbutt, we definitely want blood for blood. Because it's going to be free next turn. And I'm actually going to take this regen potion now and throw this now. Because uh, we're going to take a lot of damage real fast. And I think it's worthwhile using them potions. Yep. That's why I wanted Blood for Blood in the top, if you didn't notice. Oh, boys. Oh, boys, but... There's nothing in there. So I just want a Blood for Blood. I know I have bludgeons, but I'm gonna put the Blood for Blood back. Wild Strike it. I should've put the... I should've uh, figured Bash into that. I think it would've been a better idea. It was just so tempting. Just if you notice now, I cycle so many cards so fast. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, I'll do a, a shrug it off. See what we get. Uh, bash and Blood for Blood. Now, if I get lucky, I'll pull a Bludgeon. And I'll just smash it. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take damage at the end of this. But I don't care. Because look at that. Look at that power. This is why I love bludgeon. Just sometimes you just slam them. Alright. Nice. I can either choose to slam them or just block some. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with some, some block if you didn't notice. Um. Yeah. No need to be hasty here. The block is going to wear off, and we can just block out his damage here. There we go. Okay. Oh, lots of draws. Yeah, we'll just bludgeon him. There we go. We take some damage, yes, but also we have a bludgeon left and a blood for blood. Oh, yes, blood for blood and bludgeon. Sometimes you just hit them in the face until they die, and you go, yep, that's my build. Double tap, dark embrace, and limit break. These two, these three, if you notice, are not a specifically a barricade. We take double tap. Alright, we need more... Ooh, that's, that's tempting. I'm going to go Philosopher's Stone. Why? Because we double up on Bludgeon sometimes. And that's just the most fun that thing that can possibly happen. So I can't, I can't not go for it. Alright, we're playing the Dodge uh, mini bosses. So the way I'm seeing is up here, unfortunately hit a shop. Around, up here, hit the second shop. Up here, up here. Only... The only other way to get there would be up there. I don't know. That's actually... That's decent. Yeah, so here, here, here. Up here. Straight up these guys. Up here. Around and up there. There's more fights, but I think we'll be okay. Alright. So, I don't need... Is it worth the extra life? It kind of is. 
This does 42 damage. That's real good. Alright, well. In 8. Let's uh, take out the dude in the back. I know I choose to take some damage, but also... The, the dude in the back is dead now. He's gone. That's my favorite thing to see. Oh, but bludgeon though. But, but the bludgeon though. Like, I had to do it. You knew I had to do it. I uh, should have used... You're right, I should have used this potion. That would have saved me 12 life. So that's probably a good idea. But, uh, by the way, this is why. Double tap. Oh, sometimes you can just deal insane amounts of damage. I don't really like any of these. Okay. Oh, transform a card. Sure. Uh, let's give up on... I think let's give up on the Entrenched Dream. Yeah, let's just cycle out of uh, strikes. Yeah, that's not good, but alright, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, do the cycle. Let's see. I don't want to play Bludgeon right now. I don't want to play Blood for Blood right now. I don't want to play Bash right now. Okay. Brutality. We'll do the two defends, and we'll just play out our hand. There we go. You don't need to heal, you're at full health. Alright, so, here's the thing. I want Evolve going down. If you notice, we don't have any block cards. So that's a bad. <coughs> um, I can set up Evolve and Fire Breathing, but I don't think that matters hmm headbutt brings me blood for blood back that's pretty good all right bludgeon headbutt bringing me uh let's see 11 plus 31 is 42 so we have a pretty decent chance he's gonna heal i think for a bunch but i don't uh yeah that's what i thought but there is a slim chance that uh, this happens, and we just vaporize him. I love doing that. It's just so satisfying. All right, chug it off. We do need some defensive guards, after all. Sneko, I hate you. All right. No, no, I want brutality now, definitely. Um, yeah, let's cycle through these. All right, brutality. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need any of those. So, yeah, shrug it off. Evolve and bash. So now we have our power set up, which is good. And it makes it a little bit easier. Wow, I didn't know they had that animation. Maybe they added that. Um, well, they reversed the cost, but I still am going to do it. Because, gosh dang it, I can't not do it. He's going to hit me for 17, and I don't care. Oh, just... Yes! You know, I don't need any of these. I have the greatest set. I, I love doing that. I don't know if I went down the wrong path. I might have. Okay. Oh, God. We're gonna take a lot of damage. I can't. I can't, though. I have to do this. Every time it comes up... I have to do it. It's just the most satisfying, like, internally. Just playing bludgeon out a million times is the best. Alright, let's see here. A double block and, uh... Yeah, I think it's gonna be double block and blood for blood. Nice, simple one. Knock a little bit of his health down. Well, his plated armor, at least. Alright, let's see here. He's dealing a 16. We don't have a great way around this. Well, I mean, winning out, I can always bludgeon. Uh, no, we'll we'll do some defense on this to, on this pass. Is that headbutt still? Because I want blood for blood back. It's free, and we can go evolve. There we go. <coughs> All right, we take three. Not my favorite. 
where you're definitely going to need to heal. And we draw a bunch. Nice. Well, blood for blood, because it's free. Let's uh, shrug it off. Whoa, but bludgeon, though. But bludgeon, though. There we go. <laughs> like, but bludgeon, though. Alright, let's see here. Um, If I double tap Bash, it's going to do 8 and then 12, so 20. He has 20 health after that. That's unlikely to be a good deal for me. Or I can bash and double tap. This is going to do uh, 18 damage twice, which should kill him. There it is. All right, we are kind of riding on fumes right now. Yeah, pass. All right. Am I riding the right path? I am. Good. All right. Fire. Yeah, why don't we rest a bit? My health is not nearly as high as I'd like it to be. Oh, no. Alright. I don't need this, and I don't need this. I've got everything I need in life, which is double tap bludgeon. Could I have taken out the person dealing me 10 damage? Yes, but I also dealt like 80 damage, so it's pretty good. Alright, let's see. Um, wild Strike. And I think even though we don't defend very much, I think it's still worth doing these and this. Oh boy. Okay. You've got Sir Buffs a lot over there, but uh, I don't care because we're just going to hit you like a lot. And now you heal. No, you buff yourself. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Why wouldn't you buff yourself? Bye-bye. <coughs> uh, feed? Yeah, let's go with feed. Sometimes feed's gonna suck, but I'm okay with that. Uh, and we're definitely buffing double tap. But sometimes double tap bludgeon won't be the best play if I buff that. Now, we're buffing double double tap. Why? Because there's a dream that I have that we double tap on blood for blood and bludgeon. Alright, that was garbage. Uh, heal or add cards? What's in the future? Lots of fights. I'm still gonna go for the add cards. Okay. Um, they're all pretty bad, which was sad. I was hoping to get a specific set of a couple, but let's see. So it's either, let's see, it's going to be a defensive card of some sort. Let's go with Shrug It Off. There we go. So now we have lots of Shrug It Off. Oh boy, we're definitely going to cycle out this hand. Alright, Brutality. We're actually going to set up the Evolve now, because our hand is garbage. And hey, Blood for Blood. Hit this dude. Alright, so, uh, this is going to be not a great fight, because there's many of them, and they have a decent amount of health. Okay. Um, what do we got in here? I'm going to grab the Blood for Blood, probably. But I've only taken one, so it currently costs three. So I want to do that last. Yeah. It, uh, how do I get... Stop. Okay, I don't care. Here, there we go. Yeah, we're going to get all of the cards that we want right now. So I have to be careful not to separate them. Bash. That's a good card to have drawn. This does 15. This does 13. That's 28. 28 plus 9. Oof. Uh, 28 plus 19. We're so close, but we are under it. So, 
Oh well. I think we just get you low. And we put blood for blood in. Oh boy, we're gonna take some hits. It might have been that heal. That heal might be the difference between winning and losing. Okay. Okay, so... Mm, I don't even think double tap bludgeon is worth it. Because I just deal 18 to this to kill him. For this. Uh, well, uh, yeah, double tap always. Because there's no reason not to. So let's see. What's the smallest I can do that kills him? 13 is not enough. So the wild strike has to go to him. Or the... Yeah, the wild strike always goes to him. And having wounds in my deck is actually preferable right now. Especially because headbutt doesn't benefit by much. So I'm going to double tap. Alright, we're going to wild strike first. Then we go double tap. Blood for blood. And then headbutt. And we put back the double tap. And the... Headbutt? Or blood for blood? That's actually very tempting. I could back put back headbutt and put this cycle back in, but I think I'd rather just do the blood for blood. Um, uh, well, that's dangerous because I separated it, but oh well. There we go. That'll work. Whatever. <laughs> we'll make it work. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we can't kill him, and that's depressing. Even if I do what? Uh, 8 plus 12 is 20? No. That's not enough. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Cool. And now we'll just bash him. We've got that set up. If we can't kill him now, I might explosive potion just this dude. Because uh, I really don't want to deal with that. Let's see here. Let's see. Blood for blood. Good. And feed on him. Well, we got a little bit of health back. Gain some strength. I think I'll pass. My deck just deals massive blows. Okay. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. I mean, I guess I have to use this, so... This. Defend. Defend. Wow. Yeah, we still take a damage. This guy hurts a lot. Alright. Well, yes. Just yes. Um, yeah. There we go. Give me the other bludgeon. Give me the other bludgeon because I definitely deserve it. Yes, 24 is not enough, but uh, headbutt to put back this bludgeon, and this is enough. Get out of my sight. Shrug it off again. I like shrug it off, what can I say? Oh, give me the double tap combo. Oh, give me that double tap combo, though. Yes. All right. This only deals 64, so we'll put it on this one. Goodbye. <coughs> yes, we only did it on one move, but even when I only do it on one move, it's very good. Shrug it off. I think we still have to just bludgeon him here, because it does a solid amount of damage, and we take six. Okay. Here we're probably... All right, shrug it off. All right. Um, bash him. Uh, yeah, shrug it off. All right, here's hoping. My hope is that I get a bludgeon or... Yeah, just pretty much a bludgeon. One of the two. Oh, perfect. Can I get to 15 with this? That's 12... All right, let's see. 12 plus 9 is clearly not enough. No, we're just bludgeoning him. There's no feed target there. 
Uh, how many? How much in my deck is Shrug It Off right now? Yeah, I think I think I'm good with Shrug It Off for now. Thank you. It's a lot of Shrug It Off. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll give you 85 gold. What's this do? Whenever you play a power, okay? I don't play too many of those. I got a rest. I want to upgrade that uh, other uh, bludgeon, but I got a rest. You. All right, let's see. We want to set up this turn. We're not playing bludgeon. Okay, brutality. Uh, yeah, sure. Get off. Uh, sure. Evolve. I can play these, but there's no point. The reason I did that is that it ticks down some of his artifact, and what I'm hoping to do is take out the little, you know, nuggets over there. Let's see. Yeah. So we go... You. You get one. Not quite enough. That's extremely disappointing. Oh well. Yep, no, we'll take the potion now. Should I have previously? Yes. And we're gonna take lots of damage. There we go. So. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. Alright, well. That's, uh. Yeah. Double tap. This headbutt. To get back. Double tap. And bludgeon plus. Say, fire breathing. Hit that. Defend. Yep, that's good. Now he's gonna steal one of my good cards, I know. Yeah, double tap. You jerk. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we're gonna play blood for blood. I wish I didn't have to, too. Alright. Yeah, blood for blood on him. Now, we want to take as little of this as we can, so... Uh, straight off. Yeah, we'll pass on that big one. I gotta do a defensive turn here. Uh, yeah, and then we'll... Bash him. Okay. So... Yes, we're taking damage, but my hope is that I can get in a couple of big hits. And uh, if not, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to die. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm probably going to die. That's not good. Oh well. Because he's going to use Hyper Beam, and I don't think I can actually dodge that without just Entrench. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Try it off. Turn it off. Entrench? Yeah. Blood for blood. Try and weaken him. No, it doesn't work. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think that's enough, boys. Ouch. 